My name is Reiji Amano. I'm 18 and just started uni this year. I've loved urban legend and ghost stories since I was young. So I decided to join in the occult research club at uni. Let's watch the supernatural phenomena that actually happened series. Sounds great. We can put a pile of salt to save us as we watch it. I'm fully enjoying my uni life. But there is one thing that is bothering me. That is... Huh? Hmm. Oh, not again. My neighbor's been watching me all the time. I moved into this apartment as I entered the uni and one day, I noticed that someone had been watching me. The thing is, the house next to my apartment is unoccupied. That means... She must be a ghost! When I go out on my balcony or as I walk into my building, there she is, watching me every day. A normal person wouldn't do such a thing. Have I got the ability to touch the other side now? Huh, <sighs> bring it on. I'm an occult things lover. I have a pile of salt at home to keep bad spirits away. She's always staying in the house, so I guess she's the residual haunting type. But she is so spooky and it's been like this for a few months. I started thinking I should do something about it. So I prepared some items for purification to try on her. Rin, Pyo, Tu, Sha, Kai, Jinretsu, Zai, Zen, Ha! How was that? Did it work? What? It did nothing to her? Shit! That ghost made me feel foolish. She seems perfectly fine. Must be a powerful one. I've been trying things I could think of, but no luck. One day, I finally lost my temper. Ha! I'm so tired finishing the reports. Huh? Mm. That ghost is watching me again. Damn it! Staring at me when I'm exhausted partly because of you! I won't take it anymore! Hey! Ghost! I'm coming to get you! Wait right there! Huh? I'm gonna show her my frustrations. Oh, it's open. Ha! I'm welcome, eh? She has an attitude. Hey, ghost! I'm here! Whoa! You! Why have you been spying on me? Uh, well... Um... Uh... You can't talk? Huh? Not surprising. You're a ghost. Doesn't matter. I've already got prepared for this. Take these! The amulets! The evil spirits will be drove away. The evil spirits will be drove away. You're mistaken. Huh? So you can talk? You must be a higher rank ghost. I'm a human. What? Oh, I see her feet. The girl I thought was a ghost turned out to be an alive human. Anyway, I'm Yui Kanzaki. I'm Reiji Amano. Well, sorry about back then. It's okay, I'm sorry too. Yui looks young, but she's just one year younger than me and in a high school. This house wasn't vacant. They actually live there. Her father is a capable white-collar worker and often goes abroad for business. She's alone most of the time since he is a single father. And she's not attending school at the moment and staying home all the time. That's why no one goes in or out of this house and I totally misunderstood. Ha! Huh. So, you're not a ghost. Why do you seem disappointed? Because I'm very interested in supernatural things. So, why have you been watching me? Oh, that is... I was just looking out of the window to kill the time, and I saw you walking past one day. It caught my attention that you often help people. Thank you always. It helps me a lot. It's hard to move recently. Hard to move. Do you want me to purify you? Whoa! Thank you for helping me! You can stop crying now. Here, you can keep my favorite amulet. I thought you must be a good person. It gradually became my routine to watch you. I was admiring what you do. But it must be annoying you. I was so happy about the incident at the balcony. We finally interacted with each other. I was trying to communicate with you. Oh, okay. Was that so? But if that was the case, you should have just talked to me. Um, I didn't have the courage to do so. I'm so awkward with people. 
I've been an anime freak with no friends since I was little. Is that the reason why you're staying at home? No, there is another reason. She told me what happened to her. She was asked out by a rebel kind of boy in her grade, but she wasn't attracted to him and politely turned it down. Since then, bad rumors about her started spreading and people started making fun of her being an anime freak. That incident made her reluctant to go out to see people. It seems that she and her father get along well. He cares about her a lot, but he's always so busy with his work. Are you gonna be okay, Yui? Yeah, sorry, Dad. Don't be. I'm sorry that I'm always busy. You don't have to push yourself. Got it? I'll see you soon. Okay. Hmm, I understand. <laughs> it's partly my fault. I'm timid, and who would want to be friends with an anime freak? Huh? Why do you think that? What? That means you have something you love. That's not something you feel ashamed of. Hmm? I've been an occult freak since I was little. But I've proudly kept loving what I love. That made me alone in high school. People called me weirdo. I can sort of see that. But the world is enormous. If you go to a uni, there are so many clubs. There is an occult club for weirdos like me. There is a club for anime lovers as well. Full of freaks there. Clubs. Yes, I'm sure you'll make friends. To see a different world, I recommend you study and graduate a high school. Having a hobby or something you love is a great thing. Reiji san. But I've been staying home for a few months now. I'm too scared to go out and talk to people. Right. Then you can start practicing with me. What? I owe you from the previous incident. We met for a reason. Let's be friends. I'm interested in anime. You can teach me things. Sure. I'd love to be your friend. Since then, I started visiting Yui's house. She showed me her favorite anime and we were having a good time. And she sometimes cooked for me saying it's to show her gratitude. Wow, this is amazingly good! You think so? I do! It's great! Makes me want to eat it every day! Hmm? <laughs> I'm glad to hear that! Hmm? I've never noticed it when she was over the window, but she's actually cute in person. We spent some days like that, and one day, Yui decided to get out of her house. Are you sure that you're ready? Yes, just to get started. Dad will be back soon, and I want to tell him some good news. Let's do it then. Why don't we go for a walk? I'll come with you. Thank you. That's encouraging. A few days later, we decided to walk to Yui's school for a practice, but something unexpected happened during the walk. How's it going? Are you okay? I am, thanks to you. I'm getting used to it. Are you? That's good. Yes! This bike is mine! Huh? It still has the key in it. Easy to take! That's Kazuma! He's crazy! Hi, schoolers. Yui, just stay here for a sec. Ah, oh, Reiji san! Hey, you! I heard it! That bike belongs to someone. Leave it! Huh? Who the hell are you? Obviously a geek. How dare you tell me what to do? Huh? You're Kanzaki! What's up? You finished hiding at home? Kuzuma-kun. What? So is this... You're so stupid. You should have agreed to go out with me. Don't be cocky just because you're a little cute. No, I was just... Haha, <laughs> you still suck at talking. But I like your face. You can still change your mind. There won't be any bad rumor, and it'll be easier for you to go back to school if you do. Not bad, eh? Mm. No, it won't change. Huh? I won't go out with someone I don't love. Shit, what a bitch. You're a freak that can't communicate with people. You won't have anyone to love. I do have someone. I'm... I'm in love with Reiji-san! What? You mean this geek? Are you messing with me? You turned me down twice. I guess you're ready to pay for this. Hmm? Hey, hold your horses. Shut up! Move! I'm talking to her. Talking is no use. 
I have no choice then. Here! Salt attack! What? What the hell? What's this? Salt? So salty! What's up with this guy? Well, you're overly irritated and it made me wonder if you were possessed with evil spirits. If so, I can purify you. What? Who do you think I am? I'm the top around here. You don't want to go against me. Huh? It's not my inclination, but I shall fight if I must. I can't move. Holy shit. Is he stronger than Kazuma? I've been training myself to fight against ghosts. Do you need physical strength for that? Ant, what's your move now? Shall we keep going? Shit. Hey there. What's going on in my premises? Oh, it's you guys again. What on earth are you up to? These guys were about to steal a bike. What? You son of a... You guys congregating around here all the time. I've had it. I called the police and I'm going to report it to your school too. Crap! Like that, the problem was solved before it got bigger. After that, we changed places to talk in peace. Well, thank you so much for what you did. You were so cool. Don't mention it. More than that, you said you love me. Um, yes, I said that. I'm in love with you, Reiji-san. I was already attracted to you while I was watching you. And my feelings got stronger and stronger as I see you. Were you? But I'm not worth your time and I shouldn't keep causing you trouble anymore. I managed to tell you how I feel and it's more than enough for me. Ha! <sighs> you still don't get it. That part of you I've been talking you about. What? You should know that you're much better than you think. You're sincere and good at housekeeping. You're a great girl. And you... You're so cute. I'm attracted to you too. Are you really? In other words, I'm in love with you too. From now on, I'd like to be by your side as your boyfriend, not just as a friend. Reiji-san. I'd love that. I'd love you to be my boyfriend. Thank you, Reiji-san. Like that, we became boyfriend and girlfriend. After that, the school decided to expel those bad boys that were harassing Yui. They found out all the things the boys had been doing and took action. Now, the people that were making things difficult for Yui will be gone. And Yui is... Huh, I'm home. Hi, Dad. How are you? Hey, Yui. I'm sorry I was later than I expected. Yui, that school uniform. Dad, I'm going back to school today. Hmm? I'm sorry I made you worried, but I'll be okay now. Hmm. I'm so happy for you, sweetie. She told her father everything about me, and he was totally fine with me dating his daughter. Yui studied hard since then and passed the entrance exam for a uni. She made friends with people who have the same taste and is having a good time. She didn't have any issue communicating anymore. The time has passed, and a few years later, we got married. Reiji, thank you so much for marrying me. Right back at you. The girl I thought was a ghost at first is now my beloved wife. We respect what we love and will live happily ever after.